Hi friends, in this video, I'll try to show how to edit videos in iPhone 11 Pro. It will be somewhat like a time lapse video and it is not a tutorial. Here I am using a paid app called LumaFusion. It is very powerful app with some little problems as well. So after opening LumaFusion app, tap to add new project and after selecting the aspect ratio and frame rate, tap OK. And after that, tap the source and locate the video. In my case, I just saved to Photos app. So in the preview itself, we can choose the required portion of the clip without completely copying the entire clip into the timeline. So here I am um, editing the video which is shot on a Mavic Air that is 4K 30 frames per second. So after selecting all the required clips, I will try to fine tune the portion that is really required for my video. I have played with the speed um, of some of the clips and we can see that the playback when I selected the 6x speed is not at all acceptable. LumaFusion is not able to do a smooth playback in 6x speed. Even though in settings I have already choose the playback option to be the best and that is really frustrating. So in order to overcome this, I have find a solution. The only option is to export, the mo export this uncompleted movie. The time taken for exporting this uh, clip is 2 minutes and 11 seconds. So after export, I opened the Photos app and played the video. And we can see that the video is really smooth and there is no such problems that we face during the edits. And I would like to mention one more thing that the video shot on this iPhone is not having any problem even though if you try to add a 6x speed. Because of this playback not smooth in LumaFusion, I need to export it multiple times to finalize my video. I mean the, the portions that is required and the portions that is not required. For finalizing that, I need to really export the video because the playback is not smooth. After doing some corrections, I am going to export it again and I will be opening the photos app and uh, do the playback and see what else is needed for um, correction again. After finishing with the video speed and trimming, I am doing some basic color grading. We got some presets over here or we can export some LEDs as well. In my case, I am tuning with some presets. 
and playing on those presets in luma fusion there is plenty of things to play with and got different blending options as well so after color grading one clip we can copy and paste this um, coloring option to the other clip as well so you can see here i am copying this and i will be pasting to the other clip so here i will be copying yeah and in the next clip you can see i will be pasting that so you don't have to tune each and every picture sorry each and every clips After finishing with the basic color grading, I am adding some transitions. In some portion, I am adding some key frames as well. Uh, now I am adding some titles and overlay titles and doing some basic key, key framing. Now it's time for adding some music. So I have already downloaded a music from YouTube audio library. So I'll be adding that from files app. Now the video is ready for final export and it took one minute and 53 seconds for exporting a 1 minute and 41 seconds video. The conclusion is that it is very easy to edit videos on iPhone and it is a very powerful phone with very powerful apps that is not available in Android. The only downside is playback is not smooth in 6x speed option and there is no um, greatest speed options available. Apart from this Luma Fusion, there are some free app as well, but it doesn't have much options like Luma Fusion. That is the only downside, but 
it is always worth to consider editing um, like editing softwares like adobe brush it's a very powerful app and uh, that's my conclusion thank you guys thanks for watching and one more thing guys i'll put the link of mavic air cinematic in the description please try to watch it okay thanks thanks for watching